for some people, rust is, is the end of the vehicle, but for me, it's, it's just part of the circle of life of metal. It starts out in, in a mountain. It gets mined, refined, and made into whatever it's gonna be. And eventually, Mother Nature's gonna take it back. Some people might think that's the end of the road, but I see it differently. It still has an opportunity to be reborn as, as something beautiful. That's where I come in. Modification has always been a part of my passion since since a child. I played with Legos, I did Meccano, I did you know mini bikes, go-karts, dune buggies, building custom motorcycles, and then carts. I guess I love working with my hands because I get to I get to create, I get to change the shape of metal. You know, you can take flat sheets of metal and, and create beautiful shapes. You can bend tubes, you can you know add fire and heat it up and bend it and twist it and do, do whatever you want. To me, metal is an art form. It's clay to a sculptor. It's paint to a painter. Metal is something that you can create whatever you want with. I find a lot of beauty in the functionality and in the way things work, so I try to make things function but also look beautiful. The concept of this truck from the beginning was to, to expose everything. I wanted everybody to be able to see every inch of it that you could. You can look inside the box, see the chassis, the suspension. You can look at the engine, the whole front suspension is exposed. The entire inside of the cabin interior, all that mechanical is all exposed and that was the whole point. I just wanted people to see, you know, how my mind works. This truck is, is not a practical truck, so there's no real practicality behind why I did this. Pure expression of creativity. I I didn't put any decorations on this truck. Every part has a purpose, every part has a function, but the functions of these parts maybe had no place on the truck. That's what's interesting to me, is, is repurposing pieces from things that don't really belong. That's what makes this truck unique.
know, sometimes I'll, I'll be driving and I'll see, you know, abandoned vehicles in fields or, you know, rusty vehicles that have been shot up. And, and they're just kind of left there to, to rust away and, and, and that's their final resting place. But for some of them, they can still have a new life. I get excited. I think, what could it be? Is it in good enough shape? Is, has the rust fully taken it? Or is it still salvageable? That's, that's when I get excited. Yes! We got it! I mean, I've, I'm always looking for, for the perfect piece. You never know when you're going to find it. It could be in a garage sale, it could be in a field, it could be in a barn. It could be, it could be anywhere, but once you see it, you sort of know. That's, that's the feeling that I, that I can't get enough of. I'll get inspired by a piece of metal. It could be anything, it could be from anything, but just by seeing it, maybe how it's made or what it's from, that will spark the creativity for me to give it a new life. One of the interesting parts on there is um, speedboat exhaust manifolds. They're meant to have water running through them, like pumped through from the lake. You never see them on a car. But I modified them in such a way that they can accept the amount of heat that it produces. And I've got one-off manifolds that everybody freaks out. The tail lights on this thing are 100-year-old trolley lights. The headlights are from a tractor. The coilovers are from a race car. Um, hydraulics are from lowriders. Front axles from a Chevy P10 van. The front brakes are 62 Lincoln. The wheels are from Chevy Astro van. Spare tires from all-wheel drive only. Doors are fully custom. Door panels themselves, all made from scratch. So the choke lever is a bronze throttle lever from an antique boat. And so I just reshaped it and made it into something awesome. Seat belts in the truck, they're P-51 Mustang seat belts. They're like a Warbird aircraft seat belt. The coolest seat belts you can get. The e-brake handle on there is actually a, is a set of brass knuckles. The shifter is a, is a Buddha statue from, from Singapore. The gauges are the vintage Stuart Warner racing gauges. They actually have no backlights in them. The gas pedal rollers for your foot are actually from a grandfather clock. The brake pedal pad and the clutch pedal pad are meat tenderizers. <laughs> The tailgate itself is made 100% from scratch. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, doesn't matter. It's a Japan's truck now. Why, why do I build custom cars? I, I, I build custom cars because, because it's, it's, it's the most fun way to express myself. That's why, you know, I did gasoline injected flamethrowers. That's why I burdened the shit out of my tires. That's why we build crazy cool cars, so that we can do crazy cool things. You're spinning your tires and being in control, but out of control. That's, that's the sauce, man, that, that fires me up. steam and, and how I like to roll my vehicles. I just get, you know, smiles for miles from that kind of shit. Everything I build, it's, it's an expression and an extension of myself and my personality, my knowledge, my you know, my life's experience. And all I want to do in my life is learn every way that I can talk to metal. I can change the way that it looks. I can change the way that it feels. And I can change what it becomes. 
it's just a thing of beauty to me. I'm just gonna live my life expressing it through metal.